Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the Plain Screens and Comic Books channel. My name is Matt, and today we're going to review 10,000 Black Feathers number one. But before we get into that, if you guys wouldn't mind like, sharing, subscribing, commenting, it really helps me out and lets me know what you guys want to see more of. So, with that being said, let's get straight into it. All right, we got the cover here for 10,000 Black Feathers number one. It is an image comic, and it is by Jeff Lemire. Andrea Sorrentino and Dave Stewart and we start off with our main character her name is Trish and she is coming to a town named Hamilton on a bus and it must have been a long trip because she fell asleep and she had some horrible nightmares of this dead girl and herself kneeling down by the body with a bloody rock close by and we're not sure if this is something that actually happened or if it's just a nightmare. So it turns out that Trish is in Hamilton to visit the mother of that girl, who was named Jackie. Apparently they were good childhood friends, but when the mom answers the door, she doesn't recognize Trish at first. So it seems it's been a really long time since they've seen each other. But Trish is welcomed in by the mom who's named Terry, as if she was one of her own children. So they catch up and talk for a bit. We find out that Terry's daughter, Jackie, has passed some time ago and that Trish will be staying in Jackie's room while she's here. So after Trish goes to bed, she just stares at the ceiling because she cannot sleep, and then she hears someone calling her name from outside the window. And I'm going to stop it right there. I don't want to spoil anything else. So this is the first issue of the official comic title that's part of Jeff Lemire and Andrea Sorrentino's Bone Orchard Mythos. And that is a horror project that they started earlier this year when they released the graphic novel The Passageway, which I reviewed earlier this year, and you can probably check that out over here. But just like that book, this comic has a lot of atmosphere. It's very creepy. You don't quite know what's going on, but there's definitely a lot of imagery that's hints of a different world in another plane where people tend to die and bad stuff happens. I think the writing in this by Jeff Lemire is really good. There's lots of flashbacks to when Trish and Jackie were kids that builds up their relationship so that you really feel it when Trish goes to Jackie's mom's house and you see the sad state of their relationship now. Of course, this first issue is mainly set up, not just in the story, but in the tone because it's a new number one for new readers to jump on who might not have read the Passageway graphic novel. The art in this book is fantastic. I love that the panel layouts are pretty non-traditional in a lot of these scenes with the feathers and the horror stuff. And that just helps add to the dark tone and creepy atmosphere of this book. So if you couldn't tell, I really like this book. I think the writer and the artist are building a very cool world and I can't wait to see where it goes. So I'm gonna give this book a 4.5 out of five. This book really hits home with its creepiness. And if you don't mind a bit of a slow burn, you probably will like it too. So if you saw anything you like, definitely go pick that up at your local comic book store and we will see y'all in the next one.